Welcome to this tutorial of Amira. This will be the first video of uh, a set in which I will uh, cover for each video a specific topic. In particular, this one will um, talk about how to open different, uh, a few file formats uh, that you can get from the MRI acquisition and uh, um, how to save properly your uh, project in order to restart it uh, simply the next time that you want to work on it. So first of all, we launch Amira. Then at this point, we mm, go on open data. And uh, so there are in general two type of files that in my opinion, you might get uh, from the MRI. So one of them is, um, so the usual uh, the usual file format that should more or less look like this. Okay, so it's a bunch of files with this uh, extension, so DCM. So what you need to do is to open them all. And um, well, select them all and open. So now Amira will show you this window and then you just press OK. So now it gets automatically automatically to this uh, screen. Uh, so here you you can see like uh, your image. And uh, um, well, this one is the, the files that you just loaded. And uh, right now to these files we have connected and uh, automatically is connected on um, ortho slice that is a slice that uh, allows you to see a plane in uh, in your like three dimensional image. So, for example, if you go here, you you can select a different plane. But if you want, you can also add uh, another slice. So now we have two on the same plane, but we can, for example, change the orientation of this one, and now now we will have a a different plane. This is, uh, by the way, is the um, MRI of uh, a part of the foot and uh, specifically the heel. So just for you to know what I'm showing. Uh, if you don't want the ortho slices, then you can just like, delete them, for example. Uh, so this was the, um, a first, the, the first file that I wanted to show you, but for example, uh, you can also have a different uh, format that is quite often uh, used. Uh, in this case, we are talking about uh, the row files. So, row files generally look like this. So they have two, let's look at this load zero. Uh, they have a load, uh, like a row file that contains all the data, like all the information uh, related to the image, and then a sort of uh, file that tells you how this data is structured. So in Amira, we want to open the, the file with all the information, with um, all the actual information of the image, so we can open it. And then Amira will uh, open this this page um, where we where you need to enter uh, basically how the data is structured. So to get an idea of how the data is structured, you need we need to open the other file. So this um, MHD, and here we have some information. So first of all, what he asks is the type of uh, data. So here is not really written, but in my case is 16 bit. I think it's signed, but we can we can try again if it's wrong. And um, well, here is the amount of um, of voxels for each size. So we have 512. That is fine, and then we have 428. And uh, 512 again. At this point, a um, very useful thing to do is to look 
th th these two numbers should match because this is the amount of data, the amount of um, memory that uh, the image that you set it here would require and the amount of uh, memory that uh, the file is actually using, okay? And then here you have to put the voxel size, so the, the dimension of each um, like little cube. So we have, we need to enter these three values. Now we go here and we can open an, an auto slice. Okay, and we have, uh, we have our image, okay? So independently, which process, which type of file do you have? Now um, we, we are in, in the same uh, situation. Um, so let's just start a very, very quickly a sort of segmentation, okay? Just to, to be able to save something. Uh, so, for example, let's take, yeah. I, I will explain in the next video what I'm actually doing. So basically I'm, I'm creating, um, a, a small, a small material. So. And now, if we want to save our project, we go to File, Save Project, then Minimize Size Project. Then we go on Desktop, and we, we want this type. Amira project in data files, pack and go. Uh, so we go on, on desktop and we can do a new folder. So yes, and we can save it here. Uh, it's unnamed, by the way, so we can change the name. Um, okay. Now we will, so we created this folder with these two files inside, okay. So now that we have saved these, um, our project, we can close it. And uh, to be sure that everything was saved properly, we can start Amira again. So we can just press to, on this T, on this file. And um, consider that um, this type of saving will create uh, these sort of packages, package that has in it all the information that, we, that you need. So for example, all the files the, the, your Im your 3D Im image is here. So even if later you remove, for example, the, the file with the initial image, Amira will always be able to, to find it. Uh, perhaps in general, it takes a little bit more time when you want to open uh, a specific project rather than uh, just starting Amira normally, but we can just wait. Okay, so here we are. So this was the initial page that we that we found with the, our uh, ortho slice. Okay, here we have added. Uh, there is this this additional component that was generated by very quickly our segmentation. And here we see that so the little segmentation that we did was uh, was saved. Okay, so this is the basics to to make a project and save it properly so you can uh, you can work it again when you need okay so see you in the next video